This is my first video blog ever, and I've decided uh, for my first video blog, I'm going to go visit a 95-year-old World War II veteran who was in the Atlantic on a minesweeper until Germany surrendered. Then they received orders to head to the Pacific to start to prepare for the invasion of Japan. On the way to Japan between California and Hawaii, they received word that the atomic bombs were dropped and that Japan had surrendered. But they went on to Japan anyway because they were a minesweeper. There were a lot of mines in the water and they needed to clean the water out of all these mines. Anyway, they got caught in a typhoon off the coast of Okinawa on September 16th, about a month after World War II ended. There were 31 guys on the ship. The ship capsized in the typhoon and sank. Nine of the 31 guys ended up on a raft. And for six days, without food or water, after they were rescued on the sixth day, there were only four of them left. And I'm gonna go talk to the last survivor. His name is Bill Harrison. Let's see what he has to say. On my way to Bill Harrison's, there's an American flag right there. Coming up to Bill's house, he lives right here. That's his home. Hello, Bill. Hey, Farge, come on in. Okay, Bill Harris is 95 year old, a World War II veteran, survived six days on a raft without any food or water, and that's him right there. Right, Bill? That's you? Right, that's me, Forrest. Bill, getting around his kitchen at 95 years old, making his own coffee. Come on, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> what do you think, Bill? Yeah, how about that? See, this was the Press Enterprise, Sunday, November 9th, 2014. The sailor who survived, Bill Harrison, there he is sitting in his garage. And you can see, Hemet resident Bill Harrison thought he would die when his ship sank off Japan just after World War II, clinging to a raft. He endured scorching sun and mind-bending mirages without food or water. Decades later, his tale, already a book, the book is called Six Days on a Raft, uh, may become a movie. There's, they're working on turning it into a movie. The story continues here on page 16, that issue of the Press Enterprise, the yeah. November 9th, Sunday, November 9th, 2014 issue. And there's Bill right here. This was this picture was taken after your rescue, right? The picture yeah. of all your family. So yeah. this was in 1945. Yeah. And here's some photos. Here's a photo of Bill looking at a photo of his shipmates. In this picture here, Bill was the only survivor out of all the guys you see here. It's quite miraculous. And there's a picture of his book, Six Days on a Raft. I had the honor and the privilege of being the uh, ghostwriter on it. And here's a crew doing a pre-movie shoot. And they're still working on turning this into a movie. Wish them the best of luck. I would love to see it become a movie be because the story is so amazing that it deserves to be a movie. A true story of faith and survival. It was on that sixth day where Bill had a revelation of true faith when he realized what true faith actually was. He started practicing true faith. And lo and behold, 45 minutes later, they were rescued. And he attributes all of that to God. And Bill said that true faith was um, thanking God for the answer before you see the answer and then really believing it's going to happen. 
He said, that is the secret to having faith. Thank God for the answer before you see it, and then really believe it's going to happen. And um, Bill made a promise to God while he was floating out there on that raft, and after watching five of his buddies slip into the ocean, and that promise was that if God sent help and they were rescued, he would do all within his power to further the cause of faith in God. And that's why he wrote the book. And he has kept that promise. He gives talks. And this is Bill Harrison. It's a real privilege and pleasure to be here today. You know, uh, Calvary Chapel is my son's favorite, my younger son's favorite shirt. And we'll tell anybody about his story anytime they want him to. I can hear as many as nine bands as, as we were flying through the air, trying to hold on to the raft. American treasure right there, Bill Harrison. <laughs> what do you think of that, Bill? American uh, treasure. Uh, that sounds good for us. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> Don't stop. No, Don't stop, okay. <laughs> In Bill's garage, coming out to his car, he wants me to get something out of his trunk. Right here. It is, there it is, it is a copy of his book, Six Days on a Raft, True Story of Faith and Survival. What's on the back? Oh yeah, there's a picture of Bill in 1945. As you can see, Bill is sitting with Ernie Hudson from Ghostbusters promoting the book. And in this photo, he's sitting with Eric Roberts, the brother of Julia Roberts. He's also helping Bill promote. And here, Bill is at the Roger Neal-style Hollywood gifting suite on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. And they are working on promoting the movie they're going to make from his book. Mom, here we go. Here we go. Mom. Thank you. And Mom. Yes. Smiles right here. Good. I'm going to do this, Bill. Let me do this. Now, oh, Bill, sorry. Get this away again. One of Bill's sisters, Floyd, who was born September 28, 1915, is up here in this photo. That's her right there. And she is still alive. Her mind is sharp. She is uh, 101, approaching 102. And I, I have a feeling she's going to make it. What do you think, Bill? Oh, yeah. You think Floyd will make it? I think so. I really do. As sharp as her mind is right now. She'll make it. Yeah. So this is a plaque given to Bill from uh, Melissa Melendez. Yeah. It was in celebration of his 94th birthday. A resolution. California Legislative Assemblywoman Melissa Melendez. This was given to Bill, presented to Herbert Ralph Harrison, Bill Harrison, as Patriot of the Year from Sen State Senator Mike Morrell. Uh, Patriots of the Past, Present, Present and Future. This was given to him on May 15th, 2015. A very nice little patriotic statue here. Let's move that pencil. Nice little patriotic trophy here with the eagle holding the American flag. You can see back here behind the clock on the on the mantle of the fireplace. There's a picture of a Navy course air. And Bill has this picture because that is the type of plane that finally spotted him about I don't know about 45 minutes before sunset on the 6th day, the evening of the 6th day. And Bill said that had they not been rescued on that 6th day that Bill knew without a doubt that he was not going to survive the night and he knew he would not see the sunrise. He knew he was going to die. It's got my pole leaning toward the driveway again. I just straightened that sucker about an hour ago. We'll have to straighten it again. Huh? We will have to straighten it again. Yeah. I'm going to leave now, Bill, so... See you later. All right, players. Take care. Uh-huh. Okay, so that was Bill Harrison, 95-year-old 
World War II veteran survived six days on a raft without any food or water. One of six survivors from a minesweeper that sank in a typhoon out of 31 men on board. In my opinion, he should be an American icon. This is the end of my first vlog. Bye-bye.